going bang. What's that? Is this called? Stupid. What's that called? Death. Okay. Murder? <laughs> Life and death is stupid. Stupid. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> you didn't get the answer fast enough. It's the worst. Hey guys, Lex Dahlia. And I'm Patrick. Uh, the two You're of us are blue. You're wearing the shirt again. I, I you know. don't wear that while you film. Quarters. I have a $10 quarter roll. It came with the fuck. <laughs> Supposed to just stop wearing that when we film. I I didn't know. I just pulled you didn't it off. know because we talked about it last. I night. I just pulled it off my stack this morning. We talked last night that we were filming today. Okay, well it was just on the stack. It's collection update. Uh, one hundred and three. One hundred four. No, it's one hundred three. One hundred three. I think so. I think it's four. Let me check. Oh, it is. This is one hundred four. We have a lot to get through today. Uh, three huge stacks. Um, so we're getting right into it. That's my. It's joke. actually kind of a small one. I honestly don't remember where I found this. Oh, I found it at that um, one at Greenway. Oh, okay. Yeah. That one at Greenway. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. It's a thrift store. Or a resale shop, I don't know. Yeah. You didn't explain it to them. They it's don't a know. thrift store. <laughs> and uh, it's the Toxic Avenger on Movie CD, a format I had literally never heard of. But it's, you put it in your computer and it's like a extra household VCR. It's got two discs, you have to download the software, and you can play it. And it's full screen, full motion. Ain't that great? I had never heard of it, so I thought it was really cool when I found it. Um, oh yeah, if he, yeah. Was more, if he was more comfortable, I was going to show him off yeah. the video. I got a guinea pig. He's back there. Happy birthday, William Shatner. I was going to post a thing. Is this his birthday today? Yeah, it was his birthday today. Huh. It's also technically Kirk's birthday, March 22nd. Not that Kirk, but the real Kirk, Captain yeah. Kirk. Hey, Don't first start. up is The Adventures of Tintin Season 1 on DVD. I got this a Big Lots uh, when big I went. Big Lots doesn't exist. It does Does where I went. Uh, uh, I went out of town and I found a Big Lots and I went, we have to go. My girlfriend had ever been. We went and she loved it. And I love it because it's Big Lots and I found Season 1 of Tintin. So awesome. You watched it. Yeah, I watched the first episode because you said you've watched that previously and we got to watch The uh, Secret, Secret of the, the Inner uh, Unicorn together. Yes. I just rewatched the movie. God, it's such a. Every time, every single time I watch a movie, it blows me away. Every single time. I don't think it's as spectacular as you think. <sighs> no, that if is. you watch it, it's like. It's not even the film itself. It's like the animation style. It's like you catch the littlest nuances in the background. Like everything is real. It feels so much like real life. It's probably the greatest animated film ever made. Everything that's going Has on. Has it the been background. released in 4K? I don't know. You should it, look that I'd up. I'd buy a player to watch that in 4K. Next up, a thing I found on clearance at Half Price Books. Also, Tintin has your two like favorite people as voice actors ever. It's got Mackenzie Crook and Edgar Wright. Yeah. It's Alice of Wonderland in Paris. It looks terrible, doesn't it? I watched this before you uh, got home. Yeah. And it was very bad. One of the worst things I've ever seen. This somewhat obscure animated feature is a pleasant anthology of popular tales. It's not. Um, so look how rinky dinky this is. Alice and Paris are on the picture. Yeah. Of Wonderland Inn is text put over. Yeah. And then I bought this sealed, okay? I just wanna I wanna reiterate that. Okay. Could you open this please? Can I change that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't like this shit at all. I only left it because I was like, I have to show how I got it sealed. Oh, did you show it? No, it's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down. DVD's up. This is uh, probably the movie. Story of a girl. <laughs> this is the movie I watched most as a child. Uh, child? No. Maybe? I don't know. Doers My Car I watched a lot. Mallrats I watched a lot. Which are weird movies for five-year-olds to be a fan of. <laughs> But uh, it's Dr. Seuss, The Cat in the Hat, the TV special, starring Alan something. Uh, Thick. Alan Thick. His name's not on here. I legit think I quote this at least once every, like, two Cat. weeks. Cat. In French, chapeau. chapeau. In, in Spanish, Spanish. El Gato in a sombrero. And in German, I'm a katza in a hoot, don't you know? I'm a guanca in a guanca bunkin' asco. Oh. And you're going to bunk in the last couple. I'm going to. Remember when he goes really trippy at the yeah. end when the fish trips him up and he's like, I'm. Uh, yeah, the movie's so good. I didn't realize it was only 30 minutes. Yeah. Because I, uh, I used to watch Icon. We would literally. I'd have to put it on our. We had a tape rewinder. Oh, we still have one. Yeah. It's and I tape rewind it and just put it back in. I mean, it was every morning. 
constantly. Okay, I probably should have mentioned that the cat. You don't even do friends. <laughs> should, have, should have mentioned that the cat that had actually was for a birthday present from him and my mom. This is true, yeah. <laughs> Put your phone down. Yeah, I wanted these. God damn it, why do you always do that? I don't do it. <laughs> it was literally your pool. It's like Jenga. Stop. Oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't even know how to get out of here now. I'm not going to work on this. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to take these because I want you to sing the song. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> don't sing it very well. The first three seasons of a show from the '60s with one episode, only one in black and white, and I watched this. It gets smart, season one, two, and three with Maxwell Smart was in it, Agent Ninety Nine. Was it worth a remake? Yeah, honestly, it makes me appreciate the remake more. I really liked this. Great Khali Lee's in the remake, right? Yes, it's yes. even Rock too. Is it Rock yeah. even? God. I feel he's good in that. And this was really funny. He can talk too, Ganny. Yes. It's so um, weird. You know who created this show? No. I think I told you when I bought it, but you don't remember? No, it's from the 60s. Mel Brooks. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. It's his comedy. Get smart. He's on the back, isn't he? Is it him? No. Oh. Would you believe they put a man on the moon? That's been stuck in my head all day. You know what, though? This is one thing that you have to have the slipcover with. Yeah. Oh, is it different? Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah. Next up is seasons two and three. Do we own one? We own one, yeah. Seasons two and three of Green Acres, the place to be. Green Acres is the place to be. You watched. Or Green you, you haven't watched Acres season one yet. As far as can we see. were going to sit down no, and watch I, it. Yeah, I have to wait in for mom and dad. They won't let me watch it. Well, that's them, weird. So. so this one opens yeah, like I, I this. Thought, yep. But this one has the slide, this mini yep. cases. That's very confusing. I don't like that. So when I counted. <laughs> I started with that. <laughs> of all the stuff that's mine. That's literally mine in this collection. <laughs> That's what you wanted me to have. Uh, next up, a thing I found at the same place I found the Toxic Avenger. I literally only bought these two things because they were weird <laughs> cases. Um, Mom found this, and I was you like, oh. upstairs again. I'm going to buy... There was like four of these. You switch sides for a video. There was like four of these, and... I was like, okay, which color should I get? And I looked at all of them and I went, okay, this one looks like superheroes. I'll get that. So it's high five action Wait, heroes. Wait, you could have gotten more? Yeah, there's four of these. Why did you not get all four? Because they were like three ninety nine or something. So? <laughs> so? But, uh, yeah. And, uh, I watched 15 minutes of it. It's for, like, four-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it was fine. <laughs> it's more enjoyable than The Wiggles, I'd say. What? The Wiggles is great. Is there songs in that that you would roll down all the windows, turn up all the way and blare? I would. Really? You think that's better than the wiggle? You lasted You're 15 gonna, minutes. You, you lasted 15 down. minutes. How many times did you see da Space Dancing as a kid? You sat there and watched it. You could only make it for 15 minutes I of would this. watch the whole thing if then I had Then why to. didn't you? You said you wanted to quit. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I was I watching it purely to know like what it is. No. You we'll sit say, down and watch this sometime. You can't say it's better than the Wiggles and go, well, I quit in 15 minutes because it's well, not for me. Okay. The Wiggles isn't for you anymore. Don't, I don't like blaspheme. Don't blaspheme. I, don't, I watched the Wiggles in like 15 years. So like, don't <laughs> blaspheme the Wiggles. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't either. <laughs> it's the complete first season of JAG, <laughs> Judge Advocate General. I will never call this JAG again. I'm always going to call it Jeez. Judge Advocate General. It's the worst That should name. be Dallas's favorite show. Is he in the age bracket that no. he's got love no. JAG? No. Oh, you know right. his favorite show? Dallas. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, this... I don't think he was on the age bracket of JAG. When did JAG come out? 1998? Something like that. Really? Is that new? I it looks so. really bad. Like, it looks old. It's the same producers of this is, I think it was Dick Wolf. Mm -hmm. 95 to 96. It's when Jag started. Are you, Jag is as old as me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, no, he's in the, I mean, he's 40, like, 1. So I think the only people that like Jag are really old people. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, why would he like it? Next up, uh, you got the cat in the hat, yeah. and then I found this. Yeah. It's the Seuss Celebration. It's got nine televised classics. The cat in the hat, the Lorax, Pontifel, uh, or Pontoffel, or Pock, 
and his Magic Piano, which is renamed that from Pontifical Park. Where are you? Uh, Green Eggs and Hands, it's The Pontifal. Sneeches. Why are you having such a hard time? No, it's Pontifical. I watched it. Uh, the Sneeches, The Zacks. The Zacks is the one where it's like the two guys that stand yeah. and they meet. Um, Grinch Knight, The Grinch Grinches, which Grinch Knight yeah. is retitled from Halloween is Grinch Night on the home video release. It's just Grinch Night. And then the Grinch Grinch is the cat in the hat. And then the Huber Blue Highway. I've watched everything on this. These are rare now. <laughs> we were, I went to, uh, I almost said Bed Bath & Beyond. Went to Barnes & Noble <laughs> when I was on vacation with Iman. And uh, we went to the Dr. Seuss uh, section. And there were other people. And I, you were here and you know, There was other people there. And I went, quick, we gotta scoop this all up. <laughs> it should look good. <laughs> And she didn't get the joke because she doesn't follow any news oh, at all. Okay. Uh, next is Speed Racer Race to the Future. I believe you said it's a movie? Yep. How is it? Looked horrible. It's so bad. Looked horrible. It has it's a cool. great theme song. Does it? The cars? Oh, yeah. The car's not even cool. The car's not even cool. That car's it's, good. What's the You're going to have to watch it. Send it for me. If you know that. Well, I mean, it's. You made go me, Speed Racer, go. Oh, no, I was going to say, you made but, me do Green Acres, so cases yeah it's just no it's just nope, like okay. that. <laughs> but uh Do the it's just like a it's like a fast paced like oh. go spirit circuit probably heard it it's yeah really good. well it's a yeah. new for that it's like but, british punk yeah go yeah. speed racer go kind of <laughs> but yeah you're gonna have to watch that i will have to watch it and then last up for the dvd is a show that i had never heard of there's another <laughs> one that feels this i know what these feel like oh okay yeah uh, this is a show I'd never heard of. My dad asked me, he's like, hey, have you ever heard of this? I went, nope. We looked it up. I looked at the cast and went, I don't know anyone in this. <laughs> but there is one person I do know. It's Mahershal Ali. Yeah. And it's the 4400 or the, yeah, the 4400. You didn't and, know how um, to pronounce Mahershal Ali's name before you got this. Because you asked me, yeah, like, it's not that guy. And I'm like, yeah, what? Mahershal Ali. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. My dad really so wants to watch remade, it. Though, right? It's getting season. remade. Yeah, it's coming out literally like in three months. Do you think it's because of Mahershala Ali? Like he, just, I have no idea. He's so famous now. He's like, I want to return to that. No, it's, I think it's a reboot. <laughs> oh, it's a reboot. Yeah, but guess how many seasons the show had? Forty-four hundred. No, seven. <laughs> Be realistic. Seven. No, four. Four. Guess how many episodes total? Forty-four hundred. No. Forty-four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> So 11 episodes a season? I guess, yeah. Hopefully they did it right. Alright, so starting off from uh, Mill Creek, they put out a new batch of the um, VHS slipcovers. Um, there's one actually in this that is from the last batch. And I'll, I'll make sure to say. But it's The Babe with John Goodman. He plays Babe Ruth. And I thought this was an okay movie. It wasn't a standout. Um, John Goodman hates his performance in this movie, Sorry. apparently. Because he looks nothing like The Babe. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I like baseball movies, so Babe I thought Ruth. it was fine. Patrick Warburton is uh, Bill Murray's character in Caddyshack. It's a bad breath. It's a bad. It's a bad <laughs> baby. Man. Next up, a DVD. Not a DVD. We're on Blu-rays. Uh, did we have the Sorakis? I don't know. I think I saw I part really of the I really like this. It's the Box Trolls. I'm pretty sure we had it's the It's from Sirakis. Leica Studios, who have done... Well, it says it's up there. Few. But then they also did... Uh, <sighs> Missing Link, which was... Absolutely fantastic. One it's of the best a, movies of 20. Also by Focus Features, who famously has my favorite movie with Will, uh, my favorite movie about a movie studio with Will Smith in it. What? Focus. Because oh. like literally the logo for the movie Focus is the exact same as Focus yeah. Features, and I think they maybe made it too. It's hilarious. No, they did not. No. It's a Universal movie. Oh, it's a Warner Brothers. Okay, so this is the one that was from the last batch of the VHS slipcovers. It's Crossroads with Ralph Macchio. I don't like Ralph Macho. He has one good role. Um, cool guy. He's no, a dick. The outsiders. Cool guy. You don't. You don't like Karate Kid. The Karate Kids of it's whatever. How about I like Cobra Kai. What, you know what I like? Karate Kid. Is, but I've only seen the pilot of Cobra Kai. You know what's because really, I stopped watching it because I hadn't seen the Karate Kids yet. You know what's really weird about Ralph Macho and uh, Billy Zabka is how I met your mother. Billy Zabka is the real. Karate I was Billy kid. Zabka. I kept saying Billy Zane when I was talking to Dad earlier. <laughs> Billy Zane's from Titanic, yeah. right? Okay. And the Phantom. Yes. Um, but Bill, then there's Billy Crudup, who is uh, it was in The Mandalorian. And no, it's too relevant. <laughs> um, he was Asian they look nothing alike. <laughs> they look everything alike. Timmy the Elephant and <laughs> Billy Crudup. Anyways, uh, Ralph Macchio 
in How About Your Mother, he kind of plays a dick version. Timothy Elephant kind of looks like a more handsome Chris Pine. No, Chris Pine's more attractive than no, Timothy Elephant. Really. Timothy Elephant doesn't do much You're for crazy. me. <laughs> for uh, you. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, Crossroads. No. Did I say that? Okay. Ralph Macchio kind of plays like a dick version of himself in How Much Your Mother, whereas Billy Zapka is the hero, because it's Billy Zapka. He's the and rest of the And Cobra Kai is literally the... I don't think Cobra Kai would exist without How Much Your Mother. It's okay. insane. I mean. Next up is Easy A with uh, Emma Stone. I started this movie once, and I got like 20 minutes in, and I actually... just fell asleep and never went back to it. I just said no. It's actually really funny. I just remember the one joke, all, the only thing I remember about it is her best friend sleeps with their teacher. That's the only thing. I think he sleeps with multiple students, too. No. No? No, it doesn't happen. Is that not this movie? No. What movie is that? She sleeps with, sleeps with people for money. No, there's a girl in this movie, her best friend, who has... A, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Amanda Bynes' friend sleeps with the teacher. Okay. But it's a guy, and the teacher is Lisa Kudrow. No, no. There is just one joke <laughs> no, at the start not. of the movie. Then what movie is that? I don't know. I like that movie. I don't even know what to Google for that. You sure okay. it's not easy? Because she, narr not. she narrates this, right? Yeah. Then yes. But yeah, the person who sleeps with the teacher is a guy. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just watch it. You, there's a passage. Anyway, the next up uh, from uh, Mill Creek, their VHS slipcovers. It's Gold Diggers: The Secret of Bear Mountain with Christina Ricci. And Anna Shlumsky, who is my girl. I love me some Christina Ricci. Anna Shlumsky. Yeah, my girl. Shlumsky. My girl. You're lucky uh, this was an alright movie. You're um, lucky enough to not see my girl too. It, I'm going to eventually. Oh, don't need to. But uh, yeah, this had um, some really thematic things in it, like uh, kids witnessing domestic abuse. Easy A came out on 9 11. Nice. Not on not not September tenth. I it's from like two thousand eight, isn't it? Ten. Oh, okay. Technically, it came out on uh, Toronto International Film Festival on the eleventh, and then seventeenth for the U.S. What movie is that then? Where it opens and there's a girl narrated, and she makes a joke about how that girl is sleeping with the teacher, and he's like an old guy. I can picture the teacher. He's like bald in. He's got little glasses. He's a bigger guy. And they're always walking out of the classroom waving at each other. We've talked about it before. It's a movie exactly like Easy. I know. It's not yeah, easy I know what you're talking about. What movie about is now? that then? It's not, if it's not ECA, that's the only thing I knew from that movie. Actually, I think, isn't there a scene where they smoke a bull in, like, some guy's bedroom at nope. the start? What movie? I, what did I, <laughs> then I didn't watch ECA. What movie? Am I, I have no idea. Anyway. I'm trying to think. The mom is, like, the principal, maybe? The the first thing you said vaguely sounds familiar now, yeah. but everything else does. I just remember okay. a scene where they shoot a bull. Or they have a big, they have a big, uh, they have a big, um... Two cops bust in, <laughs> fix that marijuana! <laughs> they have a big, they have a big rig, and they're just doing it on his bed. So what move, is it Juno? Is there a joke about how a girl sleeps with a teacher in Juno? No, because they don't... Yes! Yeah? It is Juno, because, yeah, she's like, oh, her teacher's a Woody Allen type. Okay. She makes that joke. Yeah, it is it's Juno. It's like, I, it's a very skinny, yep, yep, hot yep. blonde girl, and then the teacher's yes. like a ball, okay. I've, I don't know if I watched EZA then. I think I did. Ooh. I've heard of this movie. Oh, I had that stuck in my head today. I'll switch with you. Yeah, because I've had that stuck all in my right, head so all day. Alright, so continuing the uh, Milk Reef VHS slipcovers. Yeah, you take uh, it. It's Gorillas in the Mist, the adventure of Diane Fossey, who's a real life person. Yes, it's Ellen's inspiration to becoming a good person. But she's not. Well, her uh, whole anyway, Rwanda it's wildlife, Sigourney Weaver. Her whole Rwanda wildlife fund and habitat is based on her. Sigourney Book Order. Do you hear about Portia de Rossi? She's in the hospital. Oh, I don't care. You care about Portia de Rossi. Sigourney Weaver, who was the Zoe Saldana before Zoe Saldana. Yeah. yeah. And still could be the Zoe Saldana. Yeah, she's, she's still, still doing in so much. Sci fi stuff. Yeah, I know. Why have we not gotten a movie with them yet? No, I'm not counting Avatar because it's not that month. Like, I was going to say, I think they've been in stuff yet. They did Avatar, but um, I want their faces. This was a show. pretty good movie. I want a female. And I because want a it's female. a real life story, I don't <coughs> feel bad about spoiling it. Yeah. She gets murdered yeah. at the end. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I want a female. I want a female. Uh, you just said that four times. I couldn't remember the word for remake. <laughs> I want a female remake of Face Off with Sigourney Weaver and Zoe Saldana. That'd be cool. Yeah. Sci-fi. Susan Sarandon and... So, yes, they do and, look uh, a lot alike. Yeah. You didn't need to finish anything okay. we should talk about. I've had this stuck in my head. Two gorilla movies in a row. Here comes the boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not, here comes the boom. Now, I said two gorilla movies in a row we, and you didn't catch that. We were literally just talking about this yeah. movie. 
because just the other day when we were like talking about how we wanted to see it, I found it. Uh, I watched it. I said two gorilla movies in a row and you didn't catch it. It's because this came out exactly at the same time as Zookeeper, so I always no, associate them with each other. Apart. Is it? Yeah. I feel like I saw the trailers at the same time for each other. And so I always associate them together. I've seen Zookeeper. I also watched. I remember. I watched. I watched this I, at Rockies. We had this at Rockies. Yeah. I had my birthday party at Rockies, and I remember everyone kept trying to watch the movie. I went, "No, I haven't seen it. Yet. I want to watch it all the way through. Don't like just zone it out." And I just told everyone to zone out. I was like, "I'm not gonna look up." It's Into the Blue with Paul Walker and Jessica Elba. It's not a shark movie. It's just people trying to find treasure. Did you just rewatch it? Yeah. Yeah, Dan and I did rewatch it. Also, who's the other guy in this? It's um Scott Kahn. Yeah. As yeah, as kids, we always thought it was a shark movie. It's, a great it's shark just movie. a treasure One scene. Movie One with, scene. With a couple of it's shark It's just things. tiger sharks, too, isn't it? It's tiger sharks and, like, reef sharks and stuff. But, um... Yeah, so this was mostly filmed in the actual Bahamas. Yeah. Like, real life. Yeah. Like, they were swimming with real sharks. Yeah, good for crazy. But, um... It's well, so such an average movie. You can see every twist and turn coming a mile away. Besides just the beautiful cinematography, just such a painfully average movie. I, I don't know if this. Oh, and guess who the other chick is? I don't remember, but I just watched it. <laughs> Ashley Scott. She sounds like a Power Ranger. Is she a Power Ranger? She was Daisy Duke in the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah. that was April Scott. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's April Scott. God damn it! Then who the fuck is Ashley Scott? <laughs> You <laughs> even look. <laughs> you can use my. <laughs> so next up, a movie we really liked when we were younger. Yeah. I just rewatched it because I got the Blu-ray. Yeah. Honestly, pretty average. I just rewatched it recently, and I still really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the whole, which it makes. Hold sense on, let me say what it is first. It's me, myself, and Irene with Jim Carrey and Renee Zellweger. I don't like it as much because. Uh, right off the bat, the whole like, oh, he's gonna take care of these kids now. There's all the yeah. cheating situations. So like, it takes me out of it quick. But I still think it's very funny. So this is what I I'm also, gonna say about it. When I was a kid, I never liked the part when he gets he loses his thumb. Yeah. But rewatching it, it's very funny. It it's weird because I don't like stuff like that. He, but I mean, why he, he fixes put it, it right over because he's fighting himself. God, it's just a good movie. Jim Carrey, um, terrible human being, but good movie. Anywho, what I was gonna say about it is. Jim Carrey's performance is very, very, very good yeah. and very funny. It's the the plot itself of mm -hmm. the movie where it loses a little steam, especially in the third act where they're like at that train station and he's just yeah. like running around. They, like, all of these bits are funny, but I don't think they can ever make steam. a movie like this again because I no. feel like mental. It got a little bit of flag at the time yeah. for that. Like mental conditions are such a well, look at Split. The M Night movie. Yeah, that's what Split did, and people were like, "What the fuck?" I'm just saying because like that's one oh, of those, also oh great that's one of those movies it's kind of like rain man where at the yeah. time it wasn't as like no one really knew what the condition was now it's like is it the hangover where they're like settle down rain man no that <laughs> is it when that alan's is. trying to learn how to count cards is it i'm pretty it sure might it's be because they do the rain yeah. man scene later yeah i think it is and best line like, in that movie down, rain man. i don't know Guys, look, I found my camera. Shut that baby up. Shut that <laughs> fucking baby up. <laughs> no, guys, look, I found my camera that I didn't have for the last two hours. Oh, great. What's on it? Shut that fucking baby up. You were like, oh, you're oh, good. going to take this bad movie I don't, you don't like. Yeah. It's a million ways to die in the West. It's the unrated version. I don't like Sarah Silverman's character whatsoever. Yeah, but it's a really funny movie. I it's also it. in the universe of Back to the Future and Django. It's really strange. Ah, it's a good movie. I popped so hard when Christopher Lloyd popped up. I guess, spoiler alert, it's very old. It's a very funny movie. Except for, yeah, except for all the Sarah Silverman and, what's his name? Uh, Gianni Garubisi, Scientologist. Is he? Yeah, that's why he's on that, My Name is Earl. It's a Scientology show. Uh, it's not a Scientology show. It's not, because <laughs> even fucking the guy who created it, um, Greg he was, Garcia, yeah. he defended it. I believe he's Donnie in My Name is Earl. But yeah, he's a huge... Uh, He's a big, uh, big uh, Scientologist. I wonder if he was on Raising Hope then. Uh, maybe. But he's also, he has the best line out of any Seth MacFarlane movie ever. Is he the guy that tries to kill himself? Oh, you get that. He tries to kill himself from what? In My Name is Earl? No, he's one of their friends. I oh, think. okay. He has the best line in any Seth MacFarlane movie ever. What? Fresh Cakes. Yes, okay. What, what was that? Fresh Cakes. You see, most janitors, they just leave, the, they just flip the, uh, the, the urinal cakes not me I put in fresh cakes <laughs> the Donnie special <laughs> Donnie special okay next up yeah that's why I a totally it. rad movie 
Um, I missed out... Get, uh, get rad, guys. I missed out a couple months ago when Vinegar Syndrome put out the 4K version. But it's okay, because I got the steel book from Mill Creek now. It's a rad. The rad movie from the 80s about BMX biking with Lori Laughlin. Remember when she was in prison for a cup of tea? Yeah. Um, here's the back. It's really it's cool so looking. It's so weird how upset that makes dad. dad I know. So I don't think she even did a crime. Like what the fuck did they do? What's weird about They paid for college. <laughs> I, oh, you don't I think college is a scam no matter which way you look at it. So I'm like what even did they well, do? Well, the scam was that they were they bribed people yeah, to, to put say they run a scholarship. Like a sports they didn't, team? The, the thing is that they didn't pay for college. They bribed people to Oh. What they did was they bribed people to say that they got scholarships for the rowing team and they didn't ever row. They've never rowed in their oh, life. Oh, so they took them they from scammed, like other kids? Yes, they scammed oh, scholarships. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> you didn't know I that? I know. I thought they were just paying. Dad makes it so Dad gets so angry because he's like, oh, just, you know, they stole from their just because they're rich and famous and they stole from all these people. It's like, okay, Dad, I get your point, but also you can't be upset that other people don't have the opportunity because you guys never saved a dime for either of us I to go to college. Care. So, yeah, he gets very upset. Here's about the it. steel book. It's got a crew on the front and then Bart Taylor on the back. No one cares. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> no, cares. No one cares about this their character. It's a famous movie. <laughs> it's a famous movie. Everyone wants it. No. That's why finally this year it got released because people have been clamoring for it forever. It was one of those rare DVDs to find. It's rad. Now it's on 4K. Yeah. Next up is probably in my top 50 films of all time. Would you, were you going to say that? <laughs> I was like, you didn't like it that much. I, was, I mean, you gave it four stars. It's She's Out of My League with, uh, it's Alice Eve, right? And Jay Barshaw. Yeah, with the Star Trek. Yeah. Next up, uh, this is the final of the Mill Creek VHS slips that they put out. It's And I was really happy to get this because we had a Region 2 Blu-ray that I couldn't watch, oh, yeah. so I finally got to see this. It's Stop, or My Mom Will Shoot, with Estelle Getty and Sylvester Stallone. I thought she had first bill for a second. And, uh, yeah, I really liked this. It has a 1% or 0% on it, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, uh, or something super low, but... I really liked it. It's, it's my type funniest, of movie. It's like production story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've told this, I definitely have told this yeah, on we the channel before, but it's basically Arnold Schwarzenegger got handed the script for this and was like, no, I'm not doing this for any amount of money. That's stupid. But So he told his manager like, hey, get Stallone to, to believe that I said yes to this and he should take it. And then so Stallone heard, heard about it, and then he was like, I'm going to take it from Arnold. Mm -hmm. And uh, You I'm, did an I'm, Arnold yeah, voice for Stallone. I, I'm going to take it. Oh, Adrian, I'm going to take it from Arnold. Yeah. So, and then he ended up doing this. It's got an 11 percent rod and 21 audience score, so no one likes it. <laughs> well, I'm a part of the 21 percent. No, you liked it. Yeah. Oh, so right, right, right. I'm part of the 21 percent that liked it. I was thinking you were trying to do the other. I thought it was funny. No, Bella. Next up, we're straight, straight out, out of Compton. Compton. Another. <laughs> Can't make it very far for us. It's straight out of Compton. I remember Sherry saw this, and she went into it like, I don't really know why I watched it, but it was pretty good. Oh, it's fucking great. Five stars. I will say... I like how they're credited and not actors. Yeah. I will say, though, they do not go into detail on Dr. Dre being a shitty person back in the day. He beats so many women. Yeah. It's crazy. Fuck him, man. Uh, Ice they're... Cube's really the only one that I really like oh really yeah i've read oh, even like today yeah i still like him he's the main lyricist of the group yeah um he really outside of some um anti uh semitic things he said oh, in a few me. raps he's just does he's just a good guy yeah you know? Uh, I know i remember when i was in history of rock and roll and then we covered every genre um I remember learning about this Easy E always stood out to me. Come out. I read like all of their Wikipedia pages when we were when we were talking. Well, when we were talking about NWA in classes, we did like two or three classes on them. So I read everyone's pages. I was like, oh, Easy A, it sucks he died. Like, uh, <laughs> it's just he seemed like the best one. So I've always well, kind of been. He also reminds me. He's the best. He kind of reminds me of uh, maybe he does. I don't remember. Is he the middle guy? Is this Easy E? Yeah. Yeah. He reminds me of Ryder from San Andreas. Like, That's the main thing. Yeah, that's e that's Dre. That these are the other two. Okay. That's Easy E. That's Ice Cube. Yeah, 
Yeah, he yeah. MC Ren and DJ Yella. Do you know who those two no. are? I don't this know. This is Easy E, man, right? Yes, in the middle. Yeah, see, he reminds me of Ryder. Because he was Andrew. the front man. Ryder's probably based on Easy E, honestly. Yeah. As far as we, we only own the fourth one on Blu ray. Oh. Yeah. We Story Story some, 3. Uh, we own some uh, mm. shorts or something, right? Yeah, I can't remember which one. Ter Toy Story of Terror, maybe? We own Terror. But yeah, it's Toy Story 3. We finally got that. Um, we just need one and two now. So, Toy Story 3. Book my shoe. My least favorite one, because of the ending. I don't like yeah. the ending. Second is still my favorite, because I like I the I should guy. love these movies so, so much. Because they're fucking great. They're so good. They're and all like, five stars. The idea of it is something I think about constantly. Yeah, and toys. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I Did will I say assume? your meme. Yeah, was, the yeah, adult was, Toy Story one got me. I showed that to John. I texted that to John, and he replied, "What the fuck?" And I showed it to Dad today. Dad got a chuckle. I was like, "That's the best meme. That yeah. sums me up so perfectly." <laughs> that was a hint. Yeah. Do you want me to do it again? No. <laughs> it's wanted with I oh. think it. James McAvoy. Yeah, and um, Angelina Jolie oh, okay. and Morgan Freeman, and. It was fine. Uh, I had never seen it Terrence before. Terrence Stamp and Common. Yeah. Thomas Crutchman. A rare Common How do I know Thomas Crutchman's name? I do not know who that is. Uh, is Common I had never a seen I this. Common was in one. I don't know if he is or not. That's a quote from We Can Find It. Oh, okay. They say a rare common appearance. But uh, I think just because they say a rare common appearance. Uh -oh. But they... Or Wanted is one of Peter's favorite movies. I had just never seen it. It's really derivative of Fight Club. I know it's based on a Mark Millar comic book, but the movie changed so much from the comic that it's crazy. But yeah, just it starts the exact same opening as Fight Club, down to them mentioning IKEA furniture. It's crazy. Um, so you actually just watched a different Thomas Kretschmer movie, but it's not live action. He oh. was Professor Z in Cars Two. <laughs> okay. Um, mainly what I know from he's Baron von Strucker in the MCU. Oh, okay. Yeah. Last up. This is really a thing, cool. Yeah, a random thing I found. I don't remember where I got it. But um, it's, wow, World of Wonder from Disney. It's Discover, Optimize, and Experience HD Home Theater. Makes calibration doggone easy and fun. <laughs> I can't do it. But yeah, it's I can, basically it's one of those things where you optimize your like your DVD, your Blu-ray player for the best settings for your TV and whatnot. And then it has like Visions, which is like nature settings and stuff. It's You put it on the background if you're like a Best Buy. And you want to show off how good the TVs are. But, yeah, just really cool set. And it's got this thingy. It's got two full booklets. Then it's got this little blue thingy. See? Flip it, maybe. And you can see me. And you can see him there. But not really, so flip it around. It's probably the other way. No, it's the same both oh, ways. Okay. But, yeah, so there we go. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah. an entire video on that. Let's do a screen test. We should film... Or shoot the thumbnail in that. Oh, that'd be so annoying. <laughs> I can kind of do a good Mickey. I've done it before. <laughs> that one's okay. It's kind of my. <laughs> it's, it's my impression. Goofy. Of, it's kind of it's my. Goofy. It's kind of my. Know. It's kind it's of National Goof all day. It's kind of my impression of Melissa Villa Senior doing Mickey Mouse. It's kind of what my Mickey Mouse is. <laughs> oh, it's National Chip and Dip Day. <laughs> Okay, so that was everything. We're that done now. Good, yeah. Oh, we do have some codes. Oh, for we have two. That weren't in this? Well, one's for something that's not in this. <laughs> but uh, it also expired a couple years ago, so I don't know if it still works, but if you want to Anchorman 2. Yeah. If that. anyone has Movie Spree, that's what this one's for, so it'll only work for Movie Spree. It's for Rad. Okay. I think, I'm trying to think, in the past, I know Burnsy. I yeah, Burnsy and Mike uh, James Bollinger. Okay, I think, and maybe there's a third. Okay, but yeah, I just remember. I think there was a time where Burnsy was the only one. And yeah, so it was literally just a DM real quick. <laughs> I'm so sure. I, it's because a lot of these are from thrift stores. Yeah, but okay. This is the outro. It's the part we do the outro like this. If you can give it a thumbs up, if you enjoyed it, really helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit that notification bell so you get us all the time. It's free to always change the your mind. Your mind. <laughs> so change the bell. <laughs> But you can change the bell because you just hit it off and then yeah. you've changed it. So, uh, If you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Stardust, you can at Battery Seal 1. You better follow the... You can go wild. It better follow my finger the whole time. I'm going to watch it back. It won't. If it doesn't... It's set, up here. If it doesn't, I send it it's back. on the top of the... I've been Lex Doll. You can follow me on Instagram at Straight Jerk and on Twitter at Idiot Doll. If you don't follow the...
I got fucking mayo and mustard today. Don't follow the channels of Collective if you can at Punk Rock Blues on Instagram and Twitter. Hmm. And you can put your Patreon at patreon.com slash Punk Rock Blues. <laughs> punk Rock Blues. Uh, check us a buck or, or three 12. or four. 104. 104. Or 12. Dollar and four cents. 12 gets you some good stuff. <laughs> I would. Ooh, I just got like. You know, I just did a brick wall of tiredness. Yeah. Like two yeah. people. We, we just stop <laughs> saying we words. Make, right. We make the joke 104, and I could totally see one of them, like one of our patrons, just up in it for a sense. <laughs> Who was it gonna hurt? Uh, that's it. Okay. Join us next time when we are hopefully more awake. I guess it's like one something in the morning. It's because you got it. I got it. You sugar. Why?